What's up guys? This is the Rogueman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my own Pirate War. Let's play as the Pirates. So to pick up where we left off, we landed at St Augustine and advanced up the coast, but there was no one here to stop us. We decided to send a splinter force north to attack Savannah. So let's attack the force under Jose de Zuniga and bring Savannah into the fold. I don't think this will be a particularly difficult engagement. We're just going to end up deploying our artillery to the rear advance up our militia line and try and surround the flanks with buccaneers. But the main show will be what's going on in Europe against Britain. Okay, so let's drop the guns behind the lines. There's no real... You don't have to worry about placing them that accurately. Let's put the bulk of our buccaneers on the, on the right flank, single on the left, general in the centre. Yeah, so they've deployed up. They do have cavalry. Actually, we're going to focus fire their cavalry with our artillery. Because they are what have the possibility to, to do the most... Not damage, exactly, but slow us down. So the AI's freaking out, trying to redeploy their armies. That's not going to work. Meh. Buccaneers up to support the line, give them a big long order to follow. We've got our pirates, our buccaneers advancing up into the flank to engage colonial infantry in the flank with their sidearms. My militia is about to engage. Yeah, there it goes. They're going to shoot at my pirates first, the devils. Artillery is still falling. Okay, let's advance up like so. Keep our pirates pushing up strong. Go on, 20th Lightfoot. Shuffle up just a little bit more. Cavalry's advancing, but if they push us, we've got buccaneers right here. Good. Buccaneers charge. Let's retarget our artillery against some other targets. We're actually going to sit here and just keep loading and firing pistols into the flank of the 3rd Regiment. The gunners are down. Frontiersmen in the flank. Just keep pushing around the flank. Go after the general. Because one of their flanks is starting to give. You guys push on. These, bucket, these are frontiersmen aren't going to last very long in this engagement in that sea of beigey grey. Let's get my buccaneers around the flank to try and chase down their general. You guys try hit the 3rd regiment even though you're a bit exposed. Buccaneers hit the general's bodyguard. Ah, they're going to flee like little children. Retarget some of the artillery in the centre because this could cause some minor upset. Hey, the provincial cavalry came back. Charge them with that unit of buccaneers. Bring the general to bear start to charge them into some of these infantry units. Buccaneers are going to cause the destruction of both of these 
If you want to charge him into the stakes. Although he's definitely... He was on a bit of a suicide run. Maintain the charge, but it looks like... That is all of the enemy units broken. The gunners have gone. Good, 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 good. Excellent. So that's the first territory up the coast secured. So currently, which is no money, we've got 1400. We're not so worried about the army, so let's. Maybe we are. No, no we're not. I'll the Magistrate and build St. Mary's probably into a trade port when we can. Let's shuffle up a few more rogues. Especially as we can't get attacked from the west. So Grace St. Mark's. Well, soon that will become a craft workshop. And then we'll be on our way. We've also got a full army down here in Mexico. Which we need to deploy. You guys into the army at Veracruz. Good, you guys can't make it all the way, so hop to Port Pay. To be honest, this fleet is going to start earning in less and less and less in trade. Well, oh, there's still 13 colonies, chaps, to rob. As we start to catch more of these trade points, then we can just start to have... Well, there's, there's just going to be less that we can do. Lesser places to rob. But the main thing is we've landed and took Ireland. So we need to keep replenishing. Don't want to push over yet, because we've got some good visibility on what's there at Edinburgh. There's likely more to the south. That's quite a good army, actually, to, ta to attack. I mean, my militia might struggle. So I'm probably going to have to sit there and blow loads of holes in their walls. I mean, Henry Wall, you want our howitzers really Benjamin Bonnet let's get you or no ah oh, you goons because you took that northern detour well I cannot save you let's get another actually you don't need to worry so much about recruiting Dublin can, can do a little bit of recruiting Plus our natural replenishment, 6,800 per turn, because our army upkeep is huge. Division of labour is good, and two more turns till we get carcass shot. Good, we can now actually start to research basic steam pump. Which, considering we've got a crap load of mines in Central America, Central and South America, yeah, you're all going to take up that Jebek. I am going to try and retreat. Curious to see where you go. Aha! Full army in London. Interesting. The fleet is lost. Pirate ship down. But at least we got some visibility on London. We do have a full stack. So you want to grow our contingent fighting on the in Central America, or in North America. Push up against the native peoples, which is going to be a real real issue. We want to have lots of artillery and lots of buccaneers. We'd like to have more cavalry, but we're not going to get that. Like, the only way I could get it is, would be through recruiting lots of lords. Lots of generals. <laughs> could get a bit confusing towards the end. Uh, but I, oh no, I, was about, oh, I was about to say I was going to chop the recording. Right. I don't know. If anything, I'd probably like to try and leave the Cherokee alone. So what have they got back in London? John Churchill plus friends. Well, this is why I want to start stacking up militia units. New port emerges in Cuba. Okay, you have a trade port. So if I move the sloop out first, the army shouldn't go with them. If you move them as a pair, you need both ships. Okay, you guys also go over to Europe. You, James Dampy, is still on the way. But soon. Fleet destroyed. Benjamin Bonnet. Poor old Benjamin Bonnet. There's a good amount of cash there, though. 
I know the fleet is in Portsmouth and that Bristol is unoccupied. Let's recruit another Jebek because I want this one to go. Yes, you can sneak into Greenwich. You chaps could put a militia unit in Waterford to make sure we hold it. Actually, yeah, there's only one unit of militia you can't recruit. Or you can't replenish. Let's take out one unit of each into James Halsey's force. Switch up the howitzers. Good. It's a second pirate army. You men mass. So they've got two armies in the centre of their lands. If we jump, if we send two of them to jump on Edinburgh at once, especially with all the artillery inside a fort, that should be very doable. The question is, you want to do it before they can, John Churchill can jump on us. Large sugar plantation. Okay, so let's make you a craft workshop. Let's send... Recruit a couple of units, but send you chaps forward to act as a bit of a Protector to what lies ahead. Recruit build a tenanted farms. Okay, can't really do anything else. Our economy 3,183, uh, 3, which is a bit concerning. Oh, come on. You're still raiding. And you are still raiding. 3,200. I think that's got to come down to. People are being blockaded in Europe, so there's just less trade. Which again shows another example of why we don't necessarily want to rely on said trade. And we want to try and get more of our economy based on tax. Especially as we now actually have reasonable territories to tax. So in terms of our regions, so New Mexico is up there, right at the top. And then we've got Ireland, New Granada, Dutch Guyana. Yeah, I think steam pumped. Basic steam pump would be a good technology to research next turn. So let's hit end turn again. Yeah, our ship's are going to get taken out, but I think it's a bit more, a bit piratey at least. And our Jebex might slowly start to pick away at the Royal Navy because we took out one of their ships there. Isn't there anything there? They captured it, but did not take it into their fleet. They just cashed it in. Yeah, they've pulled back to Jakassa. But yeah, I'm because I've made peace now. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of confident now that I'm not gonna. Well, I can't declare war on them, and no one's declared. No one we've made peace with has declared war on us since, which is odd for the AI. Very odd. Very, very odd. No Hanover. And Westphalia is even to do it as well? Cherokee. I mean, to be honest, I might make peace with the Cherokee because I have no interest in fighting the Cherokee. Peace Treaty with the Cherokee sign, fine. We're not, not, they haven't cut into our trade income at all. They've only got one territory anyway. Ottomans own Upper Louisiana. Damn! You now have an attack vector. Hit Upper Louisiana. Push on up to... Okay, right. James Dampy. About face. <laughs> Go attack Fort de Chartres, Upper Louisiana. New port emerges. Rio de la Hacha, New Granada trade port for ye and because we've researched um, division of labor if I can recruit a sloop to occupy a port good okay we need to start building our ports up so you've got all explosive shells you can't get great arsenal you're gonna go on to See, the upkeep there is not good. Pocket bayonet's handy. Charge bonus is quite handy. You might have to... Get, oh no, probably go... For, no, I'm a fool. Basic steam pump. You carry on with the physiocracy, philosophy technologies. 
I think that's a good decision. You can start to pick your way through some of these industrial attacks. Fleet arrives here. Ooh. Okay, so I want to put him... Right. Let's put him in Liverpool. Ooh, ooh hello. <laughs> Having a bassinet. Let's just sail around you. Okay, we can no longer reach Liverpool, so... Let's get you into Waterford. Just deposit your troops off the shore. Get our trade fleet down here, up here. I mean, because it's just a tiny fleet. Colbert Thurston in, the, in a fifth rate, in the sixth rate diamond. Yeah, it's just going to blip. Bring the fifth rate in. We lost a bunch of ships. And our general. Steed Johnson. Let's get him back up to Reykjavik. So how's that impact our finances? Not significantly at all. I think it's because Quebec isn't a. We're not. We're not at a war with Quebec, so it's only those United Provinces, United Provinces, and thirteen colonies. So we could probably stand to have a smaller fleet than we did have there raiding anyway. Um, but let's get this Jebek into Glasgow. You guys go into Waterford. Okay, you guys can't get there in time, so we can like, you cross over onto the mainland. And let's push up as many troops as we can in as reinforcements in the event that they push us. Good. 32 hundo. Uh, let's see if we've got any good ministers for the Europe post. Plus one management, plus one happiness, which is four basic. Plus one management, plus one happiness. Okay, I think the difference is this guy is... Happiness, plus one happiness, middle classes and upper and nobility, whereas the guy we've currently got is just happiness and mobility. And this guy is... Oh, he's older as well, actually. Well, technically this guy's better, because he has... He increases happiness for the middle classes. I'm not quite sure how that applies. Does that apply to both of them at once, kind of? I don't know. Belfast in 19 turns is going to be built. New Andalusia, you've got your port. Okay, you... Again, this is another... Actually, you're not that bad. 3,900, good. Yeah, that's worth still raiding there. Okay, let's hit in turn. Ooh. Uh, okay. I thought they might have gone for us, but no, they've just pushed us out of Glasgow. And uh, the Dutch are going to come and sweep up our ship. The fleet is lost. Mm, did knock one out of the enemy fleet, but they captured our Jebek. Oh well. So let's see. So we want to storm Edinburgh. That's going to be... I mean, I, I hope Edinburgh doesn't get any mortars. See, so if they don't, then things will be really good. We've got explosive shell now, so we can start to do some damage to the enemy. But we are going to want to attack. We're going to want to build a uh, artillery building with our cash. 4,100, so let's go down to... Should go to Mexico. Ooh, gunnery school needs advanced procurement. Reorganised procurement. Hmm. Okay, so... You that were going to go down the philosophical route, so you're going to actually go down the military route. Well, you kind of have to do this to maintain the technology research rate. Okay, maybe this... University here is going to go down the the um, artillery the uh, educational route. So Cuba's got a new port, so let's recruit a sloop to occupy that. We just need to start chipping away at ports. Well, ports for now until we get mines. Then the mines can be the focus. 
Okay, good. Next turn, 3,900. Okay, let's go back to Europe. Because now you can push up to the crossing. You chaps can push and attack Edinburgh. Bring up another army's reinforcements. And this army won't get intercepted. There you go, Nathaniel Every. So we've got carcass shot. Well, they didn't get they didn't get mortars, so let's storm Edinburgh. So we're going to want to knock down as many sections of wall as we can, and carcass shot as much as we can because our guys are incredibly, incredibly, incredibly weak. They will not stand up to fire from the walls for very long, so we can't do. Well, if we do a, a flanking around and capturing different walls and stuff, we're going to have to do that at a much more extreme angle than I normally do. So, you know, go right around the back. Which isn't the end of the world. So I deploy my guns in the centre. I want to knock down both some sections either side. So let's put four units plus two pirates to charge the centre. Then all the way at the back, a mixture of militia and pirates to charge the rear. Let's just have a, a little bit of a look. So you guys are going to fire a carcass shot. So you guys work on that section of the guns. You guys attack. Ooh. Do you know, just attack the... Just attack guys on the wall. But preferably infantry units first. Oh, that footline infantry unit. What are you doing deployed out there? Let's speed up time, because we're going to be fairly typical in that we want to destroy as many sections of the wall plus sections of the wall that can be manned with... Oh, God. You men, Run! We're going to have to begin the assault to the rear a little early. You're going to send one of these units to attack the Highlander Warband. Because our assault troops are being shot to bits. Get a buccaneers up on the walls. Blasting into my militia. Hopefully some carcass shot knocks out the warbanks. Obviously these are melee troops as well. We don't necessarily want them knocking down knocking around our melee troops. Newman swarm the artillery. Okay, no, you guys don't do that. You guys come back over here. But bear in mind, when we take out the artillery, it will spawn the uh, it will spawn the enemy reinforcements to come in. Keep on firing your shots. Okay, who's that back there? Horse artillery. We're going to end up seeing... No, don't do that. You men climb up there, you men climb up here. Scottish line are pretty good. Well, I'm hoping I can get some guys down onto the floor and start to try and attack some of these oh, the clansmen here as well. 
proper clansmen with shields and such. How it says get to work on some of these other units near the centre. So this is the challenge. Get these men over here to attack the line, the Scottish line infantry or the Highland line infantry, because uh, yeah, they're gonna. Well, I, my only real hope is that I can just keep chipping away. I can chip away at them enough that they break. But the problem is, is my guys are gonna plenty of my guys are gonna break first. Especially as I can't yet push on the centre at the same time. And I want these guys to focus on getting up on the wall because the clansmen look like they're going to attack them from another side as well. Good, we've got some buccaneers over here as well. Get on the walls, all of you. You guys stuck. Okay. Oh no, okay, you, you were going up here. Right, right, I see. Still, now you're going to come here and back up the regiment of horse. We have two units of Scottish line. If I can't keep... I don't know why you're climbing down the wall, because that's causing chaos. Get a buccaneer unit in to attack the regiment of horse. Okay, you men can get off the wall with these men and begin to terrorise the gunners to the rear. And you guys provide some much needed support for the militia here. Still haven't yet made our our breach. We haven't even made one breach, let alone the two we're going to want. You men here quite sure why you're running that way. This could be the problem, is you don't want to rely on the AI's dopey pathfinding from ruining things, although you might be needed. This entire flank is going to fail, because the enemy... the enemy are going to be able to provide enough troops to defeat my attack. Trying to break through this point in the centre is going to be not as easy as originally outlined. Just try and knock out the guns. You guys... Oh my god. They're climbing down the wall to get places rather than up the wall. I mean, to be honest, this isn't going to go... That's not going to go well at all. But this is why we have reinforcements. Charge the enemy in the rear in a big block of militiamen. Well, a reasonable block of militiamen, that is. out horse artillery unit you can see they're trying to work out how to respond to us let's get two units of militia to cover that breach get a buccaneer unit over to protect them or to help out two units of militia out of range with buccaneers at the front yeah, there goes our first militia first routing unit so you and attack the knights Because 
Zin General's bodyguard is right here. Two of them. Kill the horse artillery. I'm hoping these buccaneers can knock out the infantry here. Come on. Okay, he, he's kind of bugged, so just run past them. Firing shots in the centre. Yeah, you guys are actually firing at my troops here, which isn't what I want. My artillery's not firing, which is less encouraging. Keep pounding the breach with... Uh, with shrapnel... Well, with just artillery shot. These guys are stacking up one another on top of the wall. They're not actually trying to go places, which is frustrating. If I get you guys to run across here, you'll actually... It will disrupt the initial attack. Yeah, these guys are going down. Quite a good amount of damage to them, though. The hope is I can run these guys across and take this gate, which we have, so then continue your attack to the south. You men can still are still fighting the gunners. Because unlike this gunner, who's not actually doing anything. Attack the general's bodyguard in the centre. You're picking away at a militia unit. Scallywag. The gunners aren't shooting at all, even though they definitely can. shoot that target. So we might have got to a point where we've softened up the centre enough, especially as they're coming to charge out towards us. Some of our pirates have broken. To be honest, let them break. Troops defending the centre are going to fail. Let's get our Quick climb, well not our quick climb firing. Yeah, we're about to lose our troops in the centre. You men in through the gate. To be honest, just basic infantry is just so handy. Just get all my main artillery to attack the breach, help clear it out. My howitzers are going to work on the first regiment. Or are they? Oh, they are. I'm going to go after that club. So this militia form up to shoot the enemy. The buccaneers form up to support them. I don't want to go after this gun team because they're doing nothing. Clansmen are coming up. Bayonet charge the clansmen. You don't have much of a choice but to fight them. <laughs> Still trying to... Again... Oh, it's because I've redirected their fire, didn't I? Redirected it to the centre. Bring up the general. Bring up the buccaneers. They can start to try and hack their way through the centre. Scottish line are attacking my buccaneers as they try and flee. The scoundrels. My militia are wavering. Buccaneers, kill as many as you can. Bring up the generals. Artillery work on this breach. There we go. My buccaneers should do a reasonable job in hacking their way through this clump. Their line infantry's... Well, this unit of line infantry is still intact. So we know this one's intact, but they've been reduced by 60 men, which is good. Shoot that section of the wall, please. Some of them just flat out refuse to do it. 
Okay, now they're gonna start. So you have enemy reinforcing uh, artillery coming up first, which we don't want. My buccaneers continue to hack their way through. Drawing in their line infantry. This buccaneer unit, looks like they're more than capable of cleaving their way through. This charging infantry might be a bit of an obstacle, but not a significant one. Bring out the buccaneers in support. Okay, starting to attack that section of the wall. Those unit continue, if those units continue to push around the flank, I can hit them with my generals. You're going to retake the... The, the fucking air unit. They've come back. I mean, those guys are... One, one of them is not shattered, but I think they're probably not going to come back. The 18th light foot are doing a particularly good job. Okay, so... Is it because you're... Some of these units are getting a bit confused. Buccaneers are doing a good job. Okay, cavalry. Well, cavalry, quote-unquote, general. That's a, a carcass shot hit there. So even though it says X, let's see what happens. Oh, not much. So we're still after the first regiment, which isn't bad. Let's run this Buccaneer unit over to attack the 11th Regiment of Horse Artillery that's currently not doing anything, but soon will be. I mean, I'm, I'm inclined to let my light infantry carry on fighting because they're doing okay. And only when they waver am I going to turn my fire at will on for my colonial militia. That battery's firing. Well, they're all. See, this is the damn thing. This didn't. The artillery didn't always used to be this way. It didn't always used to be such a buggy POS. Hey! Colonial militia. Stop bringing you back as well. Huzzah! The 28th. I'm going to knock out an artillery unit, then push up towards the enemy to the rear. I mean, I expect I would have expected these guys to have broken a lot sooner, because they are being attacked by the rear, or in the rear. My pirate doesn't want to fight, he's just going to shuffle his way past. Ah, that's why he doesn't want to fight. Nope. Treat the artillery... No, they're doing good. Get my buccaneers back. It looks like the Scottish line don't really know what to do. There we go. Militia. Open fire. These scallywags that wish to retreat will retreat at the muzzle of our guns. Starting to charge us, but that's not a good idea because we've got our own buccaneers in support. It's the 28th uh, sneaking their oh, sneaking their way up to the front. They are forming up. Some of them are oh their clansmen are charging. 
brave, but foolish, my old friend. You're exhausted, you don't like the fact you're being shot at. And now they're outside of the walls, they're not going to have a... Uh, they're not going to have like the sort of fight to the death mechanic. So you men, get into range. Ready your pistols. I'm hoping they aim at the artillery and miss. I think that's what's going to like. Yes, there we go. Pour their volley. Fired their volley, I should say. Get my buccaneers back behind the lines. Yes, there we go. And they're starting to send men back to cover the centre, but that men is an eight man unit. Cease fire. Buccaneers run in. You men all run in. Yeah, the pirates are routed, but now they only have two men in the breach to stop us. Well, that's not going to be enough because they've just run away. So let's speed up time a little bit just to let my chaps get in. Well, they came back. Oh, those are my militiamen. Ah. The black flag will fly over Edinburgh, my friends. So the 36th are holding strong. Both these units, just get them to start running. Go engage the 36th. The general staff will fall. All the reinforcements can start running over here as well. Howitzers just cease fire. You men line up and execute that fellow at the guns. Let's get a militia unit up to hold the centre as well. So they're opening fire with their handguns while they're opening fire back at us from the wall. Go on then, you should be making ready with the pistols. Unless you don't recognise that guy as a valid pistol target. Yeah, he's done. You continue to chase down the general. You've got the centre held. And the militia unit also go chase down that unit. I mean, the general's still alive, is he not? Yeah, there he is. There we go, we killed the staffman that's watching him. You're surrounded by pirates. Come on, you men. Hit the general's bodyguard. Not that it's going to matter in 45 seconds anyway. Chase them down, because we've still got... Yeah, well, we've got even more... Scallywags getting coming into range. We've got these three units that didn't ever get used because this section of the wall was never destroyed. Lesson learned. Don't worry about making a second breach because you're probably not going to make it in time. As usual, charging up the wall has gone particularly goofy. But still in eight seconds, Edinburgh will be ours. You men are just going to watch this terrified gunner just stand here. 
didn't get managed, didn't get to kill the general still, but the city is ours. Hurrah! Take that. Good stuff. So we didn't really call on the reinforcing army too much. There we go. City is taken. The reinforcing yes. troops. Okay, you guys get in here. Bolster the ranks of their forces. I didn't actually see which one I moved in. Let's just combine some of the weak ones together. So then bring in another unit. Another unit. Okay, we're much of a muchness actually doing that now. Okay, let's get some of this militia in here, because that will be what will help. To be honest, I'm probably just going to dump Buccaneers in here anyway. Not that they can do much. Well, actually, that's a... Okay, well, I, might, I might have reduced my replenishment burden. Two and a half thousand. No, not entirely. But Henry Wall is here. We've got another force ready to cross over, plus a couple more troops being recruited in Dublin. Plus this garrison unit that can now leave the port. Good. I don't think they're going to let us get away with that for very long. But we're going to have three armies ready to fight. Two more turns till we get basic blast furnaces. In terms of things that have been built, you've got, the new f you've got better roads built. It's managed to have a bit of a mix. But I think the focus... Well, focus. If you guys can leave Savannah... Just put Charleston under siege. We're not going to worry about actually attacking it. Yeah, our fleet gets back to port. Um, but yeah, as you can see, that was a fight against a not very good garrison. And it was already... That was a bit of an ordeal. So that's part of the reason why I'm kind of thinking, eh, do I want to keep the pirates going for a world domination? Or will that just take forever and be incredibly unfulfilling? Late game grinds are not might not necessarily be as enjoyable to watch at the best of times, and that's with quick lime, shrapnel shot, fire by rank, you know, lots of tools that allow you to kill a lot of men very quickly. There you go, new port and new granada, so let's get a sloop here. Forty five hundred, so let's build one port and let's spend the rest on Repair the Royal Observatory first, Government Chambers, and that's everything. Okay. Henry Wall is in fairly good shape. Push you, man, up. We'd like to repair Glasgow, but we don't have the money. I have the money to repair the Fleet Hoffman as well. 7,300, though. Prosperity spectacular, and we are a respected power. We're not on the prestige list, but you can see it from... Oh, and if I capture seven more territories, actually, I'll reach the what the game would consider a good victory. Hmm, good to know. Yeah, we're going to take London, and yeah, I'm sure the next target will be then. Maybe take Denmark, because that would knock them out of the war entirely, I think. At least we'd be destroying a future, we'll be destroying a proper faction at least. One more turn till blast furnaces, well basic furnaces, basic steam pump has been done. James Dampy is continuing up towards the Ottoman colonial territory, uh, Upper Louisiana. Well, I want, I'm going to want all these armies ready to push south and hit London. Hey, they're sallying from Charleston. Good for them. Let's withstand the Sally. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is when we get, when we complete you know, 30 victories, when we take 30 settlements, including London, I uh, might put out a little vote to you guys to say, right, do you want me to carry on with this, this Pirates campaign, or do you want me to start something fresh? Because, you know, I think it might, it might get a bit, uh, might get a bit, tiresome just watching 
battle after battle after battle of militia just breaking and running, breaking and running, breaking and running. Just form my line up. There we go. Behind the lines. Howitzer's behind the lines. Karka shot up and up and ready. So let's speed up time, because all they're gonna do is advance towards us. Garrison militia, yeah, see this is where having these newer more advanced artillery units will really help out. Because it means we, we can do a significant chunk of damage to the enemy, such as mowing down their mounted tribal auxiliary before they even get to our lines. There we go, now we can open up. Gunners switch to canister shot to engage the tribal auxiliary. Actually, they might engage the native bowmen. Because they're going to hit the tribal auxiliary trying to get to the bowmen anyway. Make sure that militia unit to the rear there isn't on fire at will. Push my militia out of cover. Take my left flank and advance them out of cover as well. Engage the militia, keep my howitzers firing against their actual line infantry. My general over here ready to chase down the native Bowman Auxiliary because they've not lost that many men. My artillery engage the colonial militia to our front. Carcass shot killed another clump of Hessian line. A general to mid on the native troops. Over E man to engage their infantry. Make sure you guys are on fire at will. Or fire on them. You men chase down the native auxiliary. Okay, there we go. The flank has been destroyed. Get my artillery to focus on the Hessian line here. And this colonial line infantry unit is standing very bravely, but they don't have fire by rank, so we are able to pick at them from multiple aspects. Buccaneers charge the enemy line, because they're about to intercept our group. The native bowmen aren't yet shattered, but they soon will be. Or old Hessian line, they're falling quite quick. Make sure our gunners are shooting at suitable targets, because it's only this Hessian unit left. So let's try and push around the flank and surround them and destroy them before the enemy units recover. There we go, they should break pretty quick. My pirate laddies. There we go. Got him. Well, that's everyone. Other routing units. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so we're not necessarily worried about taking Charleston as yet. We may as well just siege it because it's a a more cost-efficient but longer. Well, not more. Not necessarily more cost-efficient. That might be overrating the pudding somewhat. But it's cheaper, at least in terms of lump sum. Might be more expensive overall, but it's cheaper per turn. Basic steam pump, which is good news. So I want to go down to here, because I know I've got some abundant yield. Or average yield. Ooh, low yield. You lied to me. Oh well. Pick up the mine upgrades. Me yield, me yield, high yield silver mines. Well, there's still good stuff. Okay, let's hop back up to Europe. Ah, oh, did one of my 
That's a suspicious death. There's a British assassin amongst my troops, Cornelius Bellamy. You are charged with writing this wrong and pushing into northern England. To be honest, you can probably come up as well. Yeah, you can. Bring more of these troops up to Roche Cunningham. Good, so you now crossed into northern England. Oh, Campeche and Leogan. Ah, oh, so many, so much stuff. 9,400 a turn, and, you know, our tax is starting to uh, really outpace our potential piracy income. Not very far away. Sorry, James Dampy, you've been out of the action far too long due to your commanding officer's blithering incompetence. But soon, soon that will not be a concern. So, uh, no. So I think if in future, if I was going to do a pirate, a true world domination, if you like, for the pirates, I'd probably end up doing it in Minor Factions Revenge, because by the sounds of it, that's a more interesting mod for the pirates. But then again, I'd probably like to do that if I can get myself down to one Empire campaign. Because as it stands, I don't really want to bounce around between active mods, if that makes sense. I don't want to be partially be playing... Darth Maul this, uninstalling and reinstalling other mods, and because that's seems like real hassle, and considering I'm still doing this for well, you know, got my, got my normal job, I'm doing this for a hobby, and that just sounds like a way just to completely not have fun to me. Okay, still can't recruit anything. Your Majesty. Braid Liverpool. Ah, Braid Newcastle. Braid York. Bring you guys forward to Manchester. Bring Mr. Bellamy down in the centre. Combine our resupplying forces. Not that we can recruit anything interesting in Edinburgh anyway. Okay, and we have Charleston as well. They did surrender. Okay, 11,000 next turn. See, now we're starting to boom. Oh, I didn't pick a new... Right, I was dumb. So you started to hack away at Coke Blast Furnace. Oh no, that was this... No, that was last turn, wasn't it? Measuring tools. Because I mean, I know it adds... It means you get some good flat economy upgrades. Uh, but you also get roads, and you know how I do like my roads. Although they're kind of fairly useless if we're getting towards the back end of a campaign like this. But those roads would be incredibly fundamental if we were looking to actually conquer the world. Because we would need... We'd need ludicrous amounts of money. Because we'd be losing massive armies every turn. So we would need a lot of cash per turn to be able to rebuild and replace those losses. Government by consent. Good stuff. Okay, upgrade at one commercial port, upgrade a, a mine, get back to Edinburgh, uh, build a sloop to occupy the port, let's repair both these remaining buildings, let's upgrade this weaver's cottage in Dublin, and let's get a couple of units. So now, Pretty sure, God, Jesus. Okay, no. We want to try and kill John Churchill. So I want to group you guys together so you're not isolated. You guys need to remain, need to stay here as a blocking force from Edinburgh. See, what we, what we want is this force to come out and try and attack us. Because if we attack now... Well, we can attack their army. That's possible. Okay, I think what I want to do is... 
spend some money elsewhere for now. Rebuild the government's building, rebuild you guys. Savannah needs to be expanded. Could continue to send you guys raiding northward, but that... We can get Jules Bertie into the mix next turn against Fort de Chartres. Carry on with your philosophical technologies. 13,000 next turn. Boom. Now we're talking. Oh god, see that's what I didn't want to happen. That's not what I wanted to happen at all. Uh, but that does mean that now London is... Only has the... Uh, garrison inside it. So if I can run these troops here back up to Edinburgh, which I think I definitely can. This, the British still hold um, a territory in North America, so we can't just rush for London and destroy that army. No Hanover. No Württemberg. Start to build our mines, but first, Europe. This is the big thing. I can. Oh, I do, no, he's not in. He's outside. Actually, I think it's. I think it's. It's the guns that aren't in yet. If I take out the guns, everyone can just about squeeze inside, and that means you guys can also. Okay, let's get you, you, you. Well, what have you got? Have you got any artillery? Horse artillery. Okay. Yes, sir. Take ready. Then the remaining guy is going to Benito Baker. Keep recruiting these two Take scallywags ready. down to the south. Cornelius Bellamy, your army isn't fully replenished from its previous engagement, but you're going to push on to London. See, this one's going to be a lot more... We're going to have to do a lot more work with howitzers. So much so, I might actually move two units forward, out of that. Pull the howitzers forward. Orders, forward. Have a more artillery-heavy front line or forward army. And then once the, the artillery have done their work, particularly the foot artillery, we can start to retreat them out of the action. And then bring in the more... In, I suppose, actually, if I'm going to follow that philosophy forward, I probably want to do something like this. A lot of artillery up front to make the initial um, damage, if you like. And then we start to pull these guns back and start to filter in troops. We'll backfill it to uh, for the follow-up attacks. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So... Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the Assault on London. Cheers everyone.